Hey, it's Miles Nolan, driving down the road, going to a wedding, just going nuts, honking the horn, flipping out, okay? Earlier today, I'm watching this Little League game, and I, I think it's Kentucky, Ohio, and then the Ohio pitcher, he's not getting the calls that he wants to get, and he's showing the umpire up, bigger in life. I mean, he's throwing his hands up in the air and just, haw, oh, slumping his shoulders, and the coach comes out there to talk to him, and he says, hey, guys, let's, you know, we can do this, let's get a ground ball, and, you know, let's let's focus here and so he leaves he does not address the issue okay when you're a coach you're coming out to the mound you got three choices you can do like that coach did and not say anything about the body language you can also or you can be negative about it you can get on him rip him say hey kid let's go you're acting like a little baby and so you're gonna get thrown out of the game you're gonna hurt our team you're killing me I hate how you're acting just shut up and throw the ball okay or third option you can say hey this body language is not helping us with a strike zone. And you're showing the umpire up. I don't care what he calls. You have great body language and you focus on executing the next pitch. That's what I want you to do. And you can do this. Okay, those are three options you can do when you're a coach. So what did the coach do in the game? He said he ignored the issue. Is that going to make anything better? No. Things will probably get worse. And overall, he's not teaching the kid, the kid anything about dealing with failure, which is a very important part of life. The second one, you can rip the kid. Is it easy to do that? Yeah, I was getting frustrated with the kid while I was watching him on TV, and I don't even know him. Man, he's 12 years old. How crazy is that? And you could just say, let's go. I mean, yeah, you feel better, but what you do in that kid's mind, he's disappointed you. And, you th and, and he thinks he's a failure. You rip him, you feel better, but now he's playing in fear. Do you want your guys playing in fear? Or you want to play him with confidence. The third one, you address the issue, you tell him how to correct the issue, you solve the problem, and you tell him exactly how to act. So, and then you pump him up at the end. You say, hey, you know, this isn't working, this is what you need to do, and this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna execute this pitch, and you can do it. I believe in you. So you take the focus off, you address the problem, you find the solution, and then you tell him how he should act to get the desired results. And then you pump him up. Okay, so C is the best option, the last option. That is the best. And so it's so easy. Now maybe this coach had a mic on and he didn't want to say anything negative because he's on national TV. I get that. But you gotta do what's right. Who cares what the parents think? Do what you know is right and do what's gonna positively affect the kid's behavior positively you know help your team win games and that's the bottom line okay i'm gonna go enjoy this wedding talk to you guys soon